question that you've asked. Let's go back to the beginning. Are you going back to Genesis? Yeah, it because <laughs> it, it, because you have to go back to I Genesis take, to. I take back the question to understand quickly. <laughs> When God created us, oh, we were created in his image and in his likeness. And he says, you, you have responsibility to run this thing in relationship to me. When we dis decided that the way that God had prescribed as to how we should live in relationship, with, that's an important thing, was not good enough. And we says we'll know what the difference between good and evil. He says, okay, but... He made a way. So when Jesus comes on the scene, having gone through the, the 40 days in the wilderness, and he comes out and he says, repent. The word repentance means change your mind, the way that you are thinking about things. So when we are in this passage, and in you remember Jesus was always in conflict with the religious people of the day. You recall that? The Pharisees, the people mm -hmm. who says that, they are the most. And he says, no man, you guys have it wrong. Why do you have it wrong? When Father created the earth and put us in charge, everything would flow out of relationship with him. Now, we have decided in our own thing that, in our own way of thinking that, okay, you talk to most people in the church today, they say, boss, Christians must not be involved in politics. Where did that come from? The world. Yes. <laughs> so that's one and area in which the world is wrong, wrong about sin. sin. Yes. To say mm -hmm. that those... So we have, as it were, segregated the, 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 the different areas of our life and say, you know, God can do that, but God can do that. And he says, no. As your creator, I've given you responsibility over every single thing. So when we speak about the seven pillars of society, God has a way of how he wants us to operate in terms of dealing with it. So you keep hearing me saying, God is kingdom is about righteousness and justice, mercy and love. So if everything comes out of that and you use that as a backdrop to how you judge everything in your life, You'll be all right. So you don't go in cigarette because how oh, I do business. How oh, I treat my wife. How oh, I treat my relationship. That's why he, he kept saying, and we go back to the passage that you quoted. It says, early up, about sin and the true nature of it. What is sin? Anything that is not of faith is sin. Because it is, it is in faith that we operate in this new kingdom. So when we understand that sin is about not acting in faith and faith is about complete trust and dependence on God, then we are right. Because it says they don't believe in me. Again, speaking to the fact of faith and the message. And then it says about righteousness. How do we become righteousness? Personal integrity and godly character, which is based on what God has said about you and me that we couldn't come up because we took a decision and it says in one felt instance that's why the cross is important he removes that and he says now everything that inhibits you from relating to me and accepting what i've said about you is removed simply because of your faith in me so that's why the holy spirit now has come into the world lives in us and guides us as to how we relate to every single situation that comes about us in relation to what God has said because of relationship. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but Mercy. Yeah. You know, but I tell you. Mm -hmm. But I, because everything. You just give me a lot of pastor speak. No, it's not pastor speak. Well, it you is, lost me, my brother. I'm I've lost you. you. Mm -hmm. I've lost you. Mm -hmm. But you. I don't remember my question. Oh, but you asked me, why does the Holy Spirit, why does he say in terms of the Holy Spirit coming and helping us to deal with it? Um, in the break. No, I didn't ask you that. I asked you, what did he mean when he said that the world is wrong about sin and the world is wrong about righteousness? I understood what he meant when he says 
the about judgment because he says the rule of this the principle has been judged so that stands condemned so that is clear right. that tells me that um whatever i am doing in pursuit of my faith yes i will i will succeed because the battle right. already been won so i understand right. that but uh, what i wanted you to to confront in a practical way now not in a um you know pastor speak way no but okay no but <laughs> what i wanted part- you to look at and like in the break one of the one of the things came up that um that Noel raised one of the lying. things um the world is wrong in its understanding of sin and what it calls sin and how it deal with sin mm-hmm. the world is wrong on that right um it's clear that well you talked about like occupational choices and can a believer be in politics um, the world says politics is corrupt and politics is this and politics is that. So a Christian should, and not, a Christian be involved should not be in it. And, so and that's one clear way. Yeah. And what what see out of this, I want persons to say to, to say, okay, so whatever I choose to do, wherever I am doing it, yeah, I can lead a righteous life, I can be a person of faith, acting on my faith in whatever task I am Which doing. Is, but, and and I know that the prince of the world stands condemned, so I can be diligent in my pursuit of these principles and my application it, of them, because um, what you is know, the basis of that though? Answer that. Being a person of faith yeah, comes out faith of already. relation. Comes out of relationship. Well, righteousness is based on relationship. relationship. Right, that's right. what I'm saying. So, but a lot of people get in it and say, do the, it says, comes out of relationship. If you're in relationship with somebody, you know how the person thinks, what they have said, and you act upon that. Right. So now, mm-hmm. the church itself mm-hmm. has some different standards. Right. But where do when these standards I, come from? I don't know. I'm just, I just want to emphasize the standards now because we're being... We're being this morning, we're, we're being incisive. We're mm-hmm. getting into some things and mm-hmm. cutting away. When a, person, um, when a person says, yes, I believe, mm-hmm. and they are baptized, mm-hmm. the test now of their fidelity mm-hmm. is in the walk daily. Do they come to church? The pastors ask you, I haven't seen you in a long time. Mm-hmm. Are they giving offering? Mm-hmm. Um. Are they living in sin? Like, did you marry the man? Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know what? Those seem to be the main ones. They look at some externalities. Mm-hmm. How you live. Um, maybe they even look at what job you're doing. Are you continuing in that job? Mm-hmm. And, and so on and so forth. And, and those seem to be the standards. Because the church itself... Mm-hmm has embraced some of the world's concepts about sin and what is but the question so on. But, but the question but the question that I want to ask you and I say to people is your faith real and relevant to you because if it is so it will affect behavior it will affect decisions that you make. So ask me the question ask the question. Yeah but do you think that is how your faith is manifested? You say you have a faith but should you have behavioral um, actions? Behavior that says, because I believe this, this is what I'm going to act. Well, faith without works is dead. Right. So, so that is not. That's, they, no, no, they, no, 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 they, because the question, you, have raised, no, you have raised something. Yeah, but remember, of, no, you know, this is not a personal. Christ is saying something here mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. is outward looking. Yes. It is, he says, when the advocate comes, he will, you say, convict the world, he will show the world that they are wrong. In their thinking. World now is not about the individual. This now is about institutions. Yes. And the said and corporate behavior. Or culture. Mm-hmm. Um, norms that emerge out of the things we are doing. Right. Day to day. Mm-hmm. And I am. I am. I am saying to individuals. Mm-hmm. Stand outside of society. And look at it. Mm-hmm. To measure for yourself. And develop a right understanding. Of how these things ought to be working together. Mm-hmm. All right. So the church is one institution that is recognized as 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 a faith based institution. Mm-hmm. 
the Holy Spirit is going to show each of us how the world is wrong on various things mm -hmm. so that we can choose a position for our own personal walk. Right. All right. I come out of school and I'm looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Given my, you know, athletic body and my interest in dancing, mm -hmm. I could get a job in a club, in a nightclub dancing, or I could um, go and be a, a personal trainer or a coach mm -hmm. to, you know, train people. Nobody wants my service as a coach, but I can get a job dancing. If I were to take that job dancing, and when I go to dance, I do my professional dance, I collect my tips, I maintain my distance, and I go home. I'm not in there doing any of the things that would might compromise my personal ideals or my um, beliefs about modesty and uh, moderation and sobriety and those various things. It's just a job. I go, I do my job. If I were to go and be baptized and, um, and say to you as pastor, well, you know, I work at, you know, Pretty Palace down the road. I've been there for <laughs> five years. <laughs> Tell me, pastor, without even hesitating too long on it, what would you say to me about my job? All right, you hesitate too long already, so that is an answer in itself. No, it's not an answer in itself because you. you <laughs> oh, you're. Let me tell you, tell me without hesitating. No, but and you, you no, hesitate, but, but so you've already minute. breached the rules. No, minute, but you. <laughs> no, but that's not fair. That's not fair because even let me give you something else that has. Are happened. you gonna answer the job question or no? No, I'm answering the job question. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying this because um, all right, something happened to me. Um, or not. So here's this is some that that case. So this lady, she becomes a Christian. Um, she was living in a relationship. Her conviction says, you know, because I'm a part of this community, I need to be married. She came to me, and said, "Oh, what do you think, Pastor?" I says, "Here's what the word says." But at the end of the day, you have a relationship with God. And the decision really is yours. She ended up saying, okay, I'm going to get married. Think of we've lived, he's not a Christian, but I do believe that because he is the father of my child and thing, she said, go ahead. Because you have to deal with all of the other spin-off issues in regards to that. So some people have said, no, left the man. I says, no. I could not advise her to do that because I recognize all of the other things that were at play because she will have to deal with the consequences of her decision based on her faith. So now, so if, in regards if, to that now, if she had said, mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite ready to marry him yet mm -hmm. because I'm not sure about these several things, would it have been any different for you? In terms of the advice? Yeah. No. So she would continue to live with him. Mm -hmm. um, do you regard that as what most people call living in sin? The people? The, the, that's the description they put on it. Yeah, but no, I'm a, you know what? I've gone too far with you. I, I apologize. It's not about winning the point, um, in, and it's, that's what the Spirit is telling me. It's, it's about, about making, making the point. The point. Yeah. Um, and the point I want to make is that we, even in our walk of faith, Mm -hmm. we have some notions about sin and about what people should be doing and how they should be doing it. And we are wrong about them. Even as believers, you know, we are wrong about them. Mm -hmm. um, as you spoke about the woman and the man, um, well, you know my belief. And um, contrary to many persons who talk about one form of um, marriage or other in terms of ceremonial um, activities, I believe that the true marriage occurs when a committed man and a committed woman make themselves known to the world as a couple creating a family. That's it. Okay. I believe anything else you do is for legal effect in terms of what the law of the land says about what going to happen to your property, especially your property. <laughs> what happens with health insurance? Mm -hmm. What happens? There are some practical contractual right. things so, so that, therefore, that man has chosen to use sometimes it is to dominate one but, partner in the in the marriage or but, oppress one partner or another minute, but minute. half the time it don't burn out of any love for mm, mankind minute, minute. it's about protecting property 
So there are some things which the law prescribes and you fall in line with it in order to make sure that things are well. Yes, and, Percival. And, and as you have said and you've stated your position, we, we have a point of difference because as somebody, you said the man-made things. Because people do not exist in a vacuum. They exist in people. People, me and you. No, when I say man-made, I'm talking about laws that we create and write them yeah, down but, and say, but, but you the, must the, do this. Right. But right. That, so, therefore... They're not the, man-made? No, they are man-made. Oh, but I'm saying okay. to you that people exist in society and so on and what the implications are. Okay? Earlier you used the word fair. You said it's not fair. Mm -hmm. There are many laws that are not fair to one or other group of persons. The laws come out of the overwhelming weight of either the powerful majority in terms of dollars or the powerful majority in terms of numbers. And I can give you, you know, there are many examples in Jamaica. You want to protect a particular asset, you make a law saying it is an offense for anybody to touch it. Mm -hmm. um, you want to oppress a particular group of persons, you make a law that says you must do this or that, which you know immediately conflicts with the beliefs and the the activities and of a particular group of persons. Right. So there are so laws come out of what is a priority for the group that have the power to make it so. All right. So and I'm in agreement with you about So they're that. not always fair to no, everybody. No, no. Well most laws are not fair because there's a group of persons that is affected in a negative in a way. In a negative way. But that laws are and we we well, agree, yeah. True. Some negative effect is deserved. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Um <laughs> Well, like the law, the law that say if you murder, and I'm saying murder, if you kill a man without justification, you must go into a prison okay. and pull your heels. They deserve that. That okay. that is a all negative right. so, effect. Your right. freedom so, is curtailed, but so, you deserve so, it. So therefore, in terms of what you are saying mm -hmm. with the laws that man created, I'm saying you know look at it and say, I think that's a good. But the motivation, which is what I always go to, the motivation in terms of doing something, must be about justice and righteousness in terms of ensuring that persons are taken care of because God's original intention and I keep going back to that was that man in his environment that he gave him should thrive and prosper mm -hmm. and anything that comes against that we are against that true in terms of what God that has intended come, yeah uh, God has intended original because you said, but yeah, but you know, the devil is in the detail because you say God intended that another man said, no, no, he intended the opposite. Mm -hmm. And so we, the war is started. Um, it, it, it always kind of comes down to that. Right. What an but then the Holy Spirit comes in the world a, and helps us. And that is his role. Uh, yes, that, that is, is his role. role comes yes. to instruct, yeah. to teach, and to right. bring back to remembrance. Let me, we have really open. <laughs> let me encourage you greatly with, some, some words from Delora Henry in UK. He's being very sweet to us this morning. He says that we have both influenced his life and that of others at home and abroad in a positive way. Words cannot express his appreciation. We are both truly an inspiration to listeners home and abroad. So if you're feeling stressed <laughs> that um, yeah, no, by, the, feeling by the smile. weight of the conversation, just know that having the conversation is of itself a blessing to it those who are to really opening up those issues. Yeah. Um, Delroy continues, he said, My belief is the Bible is as unique as it is profound, containing 66 ancient books that have shaped laws, influenced culture, and inspired billions to faith over three millennia. Oh, well written. Um, Bible verses we know, more than 60% of these so-called writers' names are unknown, and there is no evidence these writers have ever walked this planet Earth. Um, yes, and he continues, but it it is it is one of the it's one of the um, grueling things that you need to do. Well, well, as I say, you have to interrogate your faith and mm -hmm. the positions that on which you stand, mm -hmm. so that if you ever have to defend it, you know where it's weak, you know where it is strong, and there are some things where you just say, "Listen, I don't know, but, but I I, have, I believe that this is." And and so therefore, yeah. a lot of things have taken. Ooh. Position mm -hmm. come up to time of prayer, and you know, um, haven't passed on the songs, but um, to the to all the right, pass on the songs, and let me let me just um mm. say a few things that I want to bring us into a you know, a mindset no, for but, the prayer. No, but it's it, it is interesting that you raise 
that question and the work of the Holy Spirit in the world today yeah. because if we don't recognize it, Jesus says, if I don't go, the Holy he Spirit won't come. come. <laughs> and that's important because Jesus emptied himself and it was just one man in one place even though he was there. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he is omni omnipresent, omnipresent, omniscient, and that releases the Holy Spirit into the world that allows every person, if you choose that faith, to walk in relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And God guides you along the path. All right. If you are a person of faith, um, and by that, well, faith uniquely describes a uh, belief in the supernatural, as pastor says, um, outside time, space, matter, continuum, mm -hmm. being who has creative power and determinative power, meaning he influences and concludes all things. And um, if you do understand when Christ Jesus declared that I am the Alpha and Omega, Beginning which is end. just the... There's, there are a few things which um, give me enormous... Now, this is the joy that I derive. <laughs> there are some statements he makes that when I associate myself with them, I can move mountains. When he says I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, I am complete. When I conceive of a thing, it is finished. Everything that happens along the chain from its start to the end, I am in complete control of it. There are no surprises. There are no. When he says that, and I understand that he is driving, and I say he, I could say she as well. Um, really don't matter. But when I understand that this is my source of power, ooh, my confidence is just out of this world. And the other thing he's, that is, is my favorite, favorite. If I, had to, if I had to say what is my favorite text from the Bible, it is this. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? That's my favorite. It, it's dramatic and poetic. And it speaks to just absolute power and control over everything that is corporal have flesh, can breathe, can also die. Yesterday, um, I drew you into the scene where Samuel, the prophet of God, I mean, no greater prophet, his words, not one fell to the ground in terms of his accuracy. Elijah did all kinds of amazing things, and so did Elisha. Yeah, yeah. But um, of Samuel, it was said, not a word that Samuel spoke to the ground Samuel this man of God was drawn into Saul's disobedience and had to carry out an unpleasant task but we, we read that he told, Sam, Sam, uh, he told Saul bring me the king whom you have captured and he took the sword and even in the face of the king thinking, oh, well, this is the man of God, I'm good now. He killed him. Can't, there's no um, window dressing that action, what he did. The prophet, the man of God, well accustomed to um, carrying out the, sacri the killing of the sacrificial animals, killed a man, a human being. And in, before he did it, and as he was... Um, scolding, or not scolding, that is too soft a word, as he was passing judgment on Saul, he said, God is not one to put sacrifice over obedience. That's my summary of it. To obey is better than sacrifice. And he saw and was so committed to the need to show absolute obedience that he took it upon himself to carry out the execution of a prisoner. Mm -hmm. man shouldn't have been a prisoner he should have died in the battlefield but he was now at a place where normally you do not kill prisoners even then mm -hmm. but the prophet took it upon him we are at a time when we see that there has been great disobedience and the execution has long been delayed and people of faith need to step into the, the field now and complete what needs to be done because to obey you know, is better statement. than sacrifice. Yes, that's the one we're using to take the break. Because <laughs> we're 
two minutes past seven thirty. That's where we are going. Okay, sister. Best FM, best FM, one hundred on your dial. Keep, keep, keep listening. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Vidjam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vidjam Printers, your best choice in printing. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Best FM. Right down in the chat, it's me. And we will answer right down in the chat, it's me. Thank you for changing us. Hallelujah.
I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and the one who rescues me. My God, my rock and strength in whom I trust and take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. My high tower, my strong tower. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And I am saved from my enemies. We continue to declare today that you are good, that you are great, and be that you are awesome. And today we cry out to you. It would seem that we would have been overcome, but we remember the Lord and he came. He comes and he rescues us in the middle of every situation. Today we declare that God, you are the joy, our joy. And indeed, your joy makes us strong today. And today, we come on behalf of our nation, Jamaica. Father, it seems we would be overwhelmed if you were not on our side. And we thank you for the things that you continue to do, the persons you continue to deliver the strongholds that you continue to destroy and to dismantle in our nation. We thank you for your light that is being shone in every nook and every cranny in this nation, that indeed your light is revealing the dark places, but wherever there is light, the darkness is being dispelled. We continue to thank you for the exposure that is happening in regards to the hearts of men, in regards to the hearts of our leaders. We continue to thank you for them, but we declare, Lord, if they do not turn in terms of their actions, then you'll continue to expose, you'll continue to bring into judgment because every leader as your word declares, has been put in place with delegated authority to rule on behalf of you. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring to you the leaders in government. We bring to you the leaders in the security service. We bring to you those who are in the justice system, those who are in business and commerce, entertainment and arts. Indeed, for every pillar within our society, we bring the leaders to you and we ask indeed, as your word declare, that the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. So we declare for true repentance, a true turning, because the actions are not producing what you desire in this nation. For our persons, for Jamaicans, every Jamaican that is present to thrive and to prosper even now in the name of Jesus. So today, we come against, again, the strongholds of crime and violence. We go to the root of it even now in the name of Jesus. We declare that families are being restored, that families are coming together because if we are strong families that exist in righteousness and justice, then indeed we are breaking that stronghold. Indeed, we are declaring that the stronghold of corruption is being destroyed and broken in our nation even now in the name of Jesus. We are declaring across this country from Negro Point to Moran Point that there is rising up in the hearts of your people a fear and love of God. Because if indeed, O oh God, we are fearing you and we are honoring you, indeed, true transformation is happening. So we declare that families are coming together, that communities are coming together, that there is a cohesion that is emerging in this time with all other things that would seek to destroy the family. We thank you for cohesion in families, cohesion in communities where people are working together 
to bring about your will and your purpose. People are working together because they are indeed honoring you. They are bringing glory to your name. And when we do that, when we are united, then indeed your word says you will cause for the blessings to flow in our nation. So we declare changing hearts. We declare revival. We declare the things that are good and honest and honorable are being elevated and the things that do not reflect honesty, that do not reflect justice, that do not reflect love are being destroyed even now in the name of Jesus. So today we continue to declare over this nation. We decree and declare that no longer shall the princes and leaders of the land abuse and oppress the people. Let the ties that bind us be unbreakable bonds of love, respect, and equity. We decree and declare a time of freedom, empowerment, and prosperity for the people, a season of outstanding achievement. We decree and declare that the administration of justice in every sphere of life shall be freed from the limitations of cynical and unbelieving men and women, and that justice shall indeed flow like living waters from the throne of God into the bellies of every man and woman. We decree and declare that every Jamaican man, woman, and child shall increase in knowledge of self and of the one true God, such that the divine, creative power to prosper and excel shall be unlocked in this generation and generations to come. We decree and declare that the hearts of our leaders and their bowels of compassion be opened to hear the cry of the people and to respond with love, generosity, and respect. We decree and declare that the ordinary men and women in communities across this land will become families that work together in harmony to assure the well-being of all members giving special care to our children, our elders, our women, and those with disabilities of any kind. We decree and declare that starting today, men and women across this nation shall arise and return to the place of abundance in humility and repentance to reclaim their identity and bring prosperity to their communities. We decree and declare that all citizens be filled with the spirit of shameless audacity, such that we shall persistently seek out the goodness and the blessings that are ours, ask for and secure the benefits of nationhood, knock on every door that should be open to us, and take charge of our destiny. We decree and declare that this nation will move as one in submission to the sovereign will of God, so that the world may see your power and greatness and you will be glorified. So, Lord, in this time, we declare that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, the God who restores. And so even with the increase in numbers in terms of COVID, we, we declare that that is broken even now. And indeed, from Negril Point to Moran Point, Jehovah Rapha is moving through every household, moving into the hospitals, moving into the communities and bringing a healing stream in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we invite the host of heaven to intervene, to heal, to restore. We thank you, God, even in terms of what is happening, that there is indeed a consensus that is building across this nation in terms of a change, in terms of our constitutional arrangement. For indeed, Lord, you have placed Jamaica, according to Acts 17 and 26, in its time and season to ultimately bring glory and honor to your name, that indeed people will return to you to declare indeed that you are God, and only you are God. You are God all by yourself. Indeed, we declare today there is no need for argument, and we thank you. That even now we are rising up as persons of faith, walking in love, respecting each other, building strong families, strong communities. 
a tsunami of love from Negril Point to Moran Point is happening across the length and breadth of this nation. We thank you indeed for what you have already done. Indeed, you are declared it in the heavens and indeed we'll see the manifestation happen in a greater dimension in terms of a greater length. Give you thanks even now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.
experience, but had learned his lessons. Mr Speaker, in response to her interim report, Sue Gray acknowledges that very significant changes have already been enacted. She writes, and I quote, I am pleased that progress is being made in addressing the issues I raised. And she adds, since my update, there have been changes to the organisation and management of Downing Street and the Cabinet Office with the aim of creating clearer lines of leadership and accountability, and now these need the chance and time to bed in. He's faced renewed calls from the opposition to resign. The report found senior leadership in Britain's government had to bear responsibility for a culture that allowed gatherings in breach of coronavirus rules. Its author, the civil servant Sue Gray, said many people would be dismayed by the behaviour. The US pharmaceutical giant Pfizer has announced it will sell all of its current and future patented drugs at non-profit prices to the world's poorest countries. Pfizer's chief executive, Albert Bourla, said 45 countries would benefit, covering a total of more than a billion people. Speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Mr Bourla appealed to the World Health Organization and other partners to help with the logistics of prescribing and distributing the drugs. Malawi will be one of the first countries involved. Its president is Lazarus Chakwera. It is not a handout, but a real partnership that involves taking Pfizer's strength in manufacturing, Mr. Bill Gates' strength in philanthropy, and our strength in governance and combining them in a spirit of shared sacrifice to put human progress ahead of business profits and political posturing. The former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has arrived near Islamabad to lead his supporters who are planning to march on the capital. In response, the authorities have blocked all approach roads to Islamabad and deployed thousands of police officers to stop the march. Imran Khan was ousted by a no-confidence vote last month. Saho Baloch is at the Faisabad interchange, the main entry point to the city. This place has been barricaded at the moment. There is chaos right now as people are trying to reach their places of work and educational institutions. Local exams have been cancelled as well. As political uncertainty unfolds, people are fearing whether this situation will clear up or lead to more political chaos. This is the world news from the BBC. President Putin has signed a decree that makes it easier, as the Kremlin put it, to grant Russian citizenship to residents of illegally occupied parts of Ukraine. In the Kherson and Japarizia regions, the occupiers in the latter said they were already preparing the staff and infrastructure to start handing out Russian passports to Ukrainians. The African Union has begun an extraordinary summit in Equatorial Guinea on how to combat terrorism. The summit in the capital, Malabo, will consider measures to strengthen security amid an increase in militant attacks in many parts of Africa. The conference will also examine how to strengthen democracy and prevent military coups. Trade unions in Chad have begun an indefinite strike. The industrial action was called to put pressure on the military government to release six members of an opposition and civil society group, the Wackett Tama Coalition, who were arrested during an anti-French protest earlier this month. The opposition leaders are reported to be on hunger strike. The British government has approved the sale of Chelsea Football Club to a consortium led by the American businessman Todd Bowley. He's buying it from the Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich, the licence for the deal was issued after the authorities verified the sale would not benefit Mr Abramovich, in line with sanctions imposed following the invasion of Ukraine. Peter Kenyon is a former Chelsea chief executive. What Chelsea have demonstrated over the years that they built Chelsea up from 2003, where it was very mid-table and lower table, to being one of the top teams in Europe. And I think with the backers that are coming in, that's obviously going to continue. So this morning I think everybody will be relieved in that it's Back to business as usual for Chelsea, and that's great news for English football, I think. Todd Bowley, a co-owner of baseball's Los Angeles Dodgers, proposed the $5 billion deal earlier this month. BBC News. (laughs) What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. 
They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Vetam Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagger Park Road. Vitam Printers, your best choice in printing. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> Welcome back to The Morning Connection. Ready to interact with our listeners, having gone so deep, we even went into some <laughs> extra dimensional travel. Mm -hmm. But thank you for bearing with us. Um, a few things were, were, were very much heavy in our spirit, mm -hmm. um, and Percival and I are umbilically connected, you know, we have the same father. So, what we are in Palma and father, father God, right? So, you could see what was happening. All right, we're going to shift gears. It's time to open the lines. You know the numbers to call, 876-619-1508, 876-279-8473. Those are the numbers by which you can reach us. Pastor Percy, did you want to do a kind of a wrap-up before we open the line? <laughs> <laughs> the first call is in, so, yeah. I haven't seen, I haven't seen the newspaper this morning. Oh, no. I'm working my way to it because I'm days late. There's a caller on the line. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Greetings and good morning, family. Good morning, sir. Family. Um, <laughs> um, I hope um, we would have taken the bold audacity <laughs> to recognize that the story of the scriptures is, the, is our story. And if we have done... The, Hello? Yes, well, I'm listening. We're listening, we're listening. And if we have done that, um, then the, you shall, we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. Mm -hmm. Now, let me read, from, read to you from Isaiah 52 and verse 5, 6. Now, therefore, what have I here? says the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught. They that rule over them make them to howl, says the Lord. And my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. Now, my blessed family, the same family mm -hmm. that the Lord says, of all the families of the earth, you only have I known. I, I have formed thee for myself. Now, um, this name of the Almighty is not a, it is an open secret. And why it is an open secret is because the Almighty says, my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. So, um, for today, for this moment, let's see if we can go in search of that name. Um, 
I go to Malachi chapter one. All right, and we verse have a, six. we have another caller on the line, so I have to. Be, I'm thinking now. I I understand. Ah, okay, no, enough said then. Let me just um just do this Malachi. We're talking about the name of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think it's it's, it's another two minutes. No. Um, Malachi one verse six. Um, who can? Sorry, sorry. Uh, Malachi one verse. Eight. All right, I made a note of it, so we're gonna look at it. Tell me the point you wanna impress on our listeners this morning. Um, the name is it, is of it the to Almighty. search out the name since we are profaning it? You've described son, it. A son honors his father. And a servant is master. If then I be a father, where, where is, is my, my honor? honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests, that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? That's verse 6. All right, my no, brother. I, I'm hold a second. Hold a second for me, please. Um, yes, we have another right. caller on the line. I do not want to be unreasonable. You, you know, you're you're making some points which I don't. I wouldn't want to rush past them. What is it's your? Done. What is the? What's the main thing you want us to 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 hold on to this morning? Do we know the name? We are profaning the name. Do you, would you say that we know the name? The name is Rastafari. Okay. All right. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. Okay. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen. Okay. Praise the Lord of hosts. All right. Okay. Thank you. Blessed love. Blessed, Blessed love. love. To be continued. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Rastafari. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. this morning, but getting a job and you don't get a one day and you can't dance and you have a dance. <laughs> Yes, I can't yeah. dance though. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just talk about, you know, just analyze yes, things. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, for, for, you know, for pass the best judgment. Right. According to the circumstances and the moment. Yeah. Well, to me, as a man who call myself Rastafari, a Christian, of a Judaism, of the, of the tradition there, mm -hmm. the point is, when a lady can dance, you know, that is a beauty in, in, in a man's eyes, you know. Mm -hmm. A woman done pretty and look good and she can dance. That is a beauty. And according to the circumstances, you have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Because if God put me out there in the wilderness, right? And two things, you know, how to provide for me so that I can keep him commandments. Right. Or we choose to keep him commandments, no matter what the circumstances, even if me have to go dead and get chewed on the road, because me have bills to pay and me can't pay, so them throw me out on the road. Mm -hmm. Or, never see how best me can survive. Right. Because it's natural for every being want to survive, you know. And, you there, know? So and there's no condemnation. The dancing, there's no condemnation, me, whatever choice you Me, me as a Christian, as a Rastafari, I'm only saying, I have no problem with that. I have to let that be your best, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would tell Thank you that. You, Wayne. <laughs> but you know, after, in the break, Pastor and I and producer had a conversation about um, Rahab, the prostitute who gave coverage to the, the, the Israelite spies who came in when Jerusalem Jericho was to be taken and she has been counted um, in the lineage of Christ and we were recognizing at least I was saying that it was known and understood that if two strange men come into a town the only house they could really enter without question is the house of a prostitute Yeah. and so Rahab was there waiting 
to fulfill uh, a purpose of giving coverage. So you never know when you see people in their different jobs and they're doing things. We might have our opinions on it as to whether this is good, bad, noble or otherwise. But that person is there for a specific purpose that we don't understand. And if we use our own judgment to move them out of position, we frustrate the will of God rather than help it. So this idea sure. that what we think about right and wrong and sin and so on, that, and, and, and if people are past judgment by just looking upon the little thing. Yes. Instead of looking upon the overall thing. Yes. Yeah. Because circumstances could have put her where she is. Yes. Yeah. But deep within her heart, she has better desire. And she's moving to something else. circumstances and the overall situation, she has to do what she has to do, you know. Yes, because in so Rahab's... you to condemn yeah, I, absolutely condemn my her or anyone. Or anyone. In Rahab's Just situation... To, she immediately she immediately asked for her entire family to be saved in the event of war. That was her request. She could have asked for money or she could have asked for anything. But she chose to ask for the security of her family because she knew war was coming. Yeah. And my my talk, you know, I think we could have worked in a church, you know. <laughs> I'm not no, this man, this man could be a preacher. You're, 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 a, you're, you're great lady, you're great. <laughs> I think we're Come on, let's up. Let's up. Let's let's up. up. <laughs> this is the church. <laughs> yes, the we're church doing. is where you are. Yeah. Good morning, Good Connor. Good morning welcome. and welcome to the morning. Right. Good morning, morning, Good morning, Pastor. Morning, morning, this minute, morning. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I like the topic this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, Nehemiah was a bartender in the, in the King's in Palace. In the King's, yeah, yes. I love it. <laughs> that's what he was, uh, you know. That's what he was. A yeah, era, yeah. yeah. And he, he, he used to wine all the while the King was to receive it. And make sure, say, it oh, the, nobody not gosh. kill her. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And one of the times. And the time came and he wasn't pleased and the king said to him that, you know, I don't like how you look today, you know. <laughs> you look I don't like how you look at all. <laughs> but you also have the mind of an uh, MP or uh, uh, somebody should, should be in the, in the cabinet. Yes. Because you have a mind for the people. He mm-hmm. said that the people was on the feet and they need work. So he said the world, you know, he so the king examined it and it's, he found out that this man have a heart for people. True. Yeah. You understand? So, I believe the church, you know, I believe the church, you know, the church is, uh, Ecclesia, you know, is a call out one, the chosen one, selected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the church is like the, the cabinet, you know, or, is like the cabinet, you know, yes, it's, of, not, it's, of, it's not, it's not, God's you know, vote for church, you know, it's selected. So, yeah. what, I, wow. what I'm really saying here is that, you know, so the best, the best place to, to witness is that the workplace. Tell me about it. And boy, you, because it, I believe, and this is with all of my heart, I think when Jesus left, he said, go. But we in the church tell people they must come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a change that. Because if you yeah. really look at it, if you have a, a hundred people in a church, um, and you have ten people minister, what the other ninety people are going to do? So don't not watch people mm-hmm. perform or anything. No. It, the, min- the, the message was go make disciples with this message of the kingdom. Yeah. Preach, make watch it. this pastor. Watch this. Watch this. Watch pastor. Mm-hmm. Jesus set the example, you know. Mm-hmm. Jesus went to the, 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 the men at their workplace, you know, yeah. the fishermen, you know. Yeah. And, and he, everybody. he was a part of the work. He get into the work mm-hmm. and did the work better than them. Yeah. So they could have uh, they could have said, what man of man is this? Mm-hmm. You know, and he said, and then they will be catching fish again. They will be catching man. Mm-hmm. And and if you notice, even even you could name it, even even uh, Daniel, mm-hmm. Daniel become become great in a, become a, a part of the government in right. Babylon as mm-hmm. a politician and also and, and Joseph Joseph yes. again governor in, in Egypt. Mm-hmm. Yes, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. You're Have a good most day. welcome. I and won't forget that I, Nehemiah was, was a bartender. bartender. <laughs> I don't write it down already. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Good morning. Good morning. Um, last Wednesday, this time was my birthday. Oh, jeez. I love it how you took a week to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to call that morning because oh. I, 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 I had an appointment in Mandible at a specialist doctor. You oh. know, when you get old, you have to see those <laughs> specialists. 
<laughs> yes, I pray I, that the I mean, Jehovah again. Rapha does something to your body this morning, my brother. He's the supreme uh, at, healer. At my age, I'm satisfied for the time I live. If I die, I know I have no problem. <laughs> Dear Lord. What age is that? <laughs> I'm mean, <I'm> 65. <laughs> You have to live the full life. I walked in purpose. You only have five left then. Well, any how much, I don't care. If I live ah. one or two, you know. But what I call about this That's morning, spirit. yes, it's to you, Sister Minute. Me you are too. more on the last side. Mm -hmm. When you go to like a shop or a supermarket and you bring your own bag, mm -hmm. the last person that you have to bring your own bag to put your stuff in. Well, that's not when the you law, buy, but... When you buy, like, a naked soap, yes. don't they supposed to wrap it and put it in something for you? All right. So, now, that's not so much law as customer service. <laughs> that is just good customer service. They should wrap it. Yeah, so much, those naked soap have some high smell on it. it, it, it yeah, you put it in the goods and it rides, right, which is why they wrap it. So, your sh the shops in your area are not doing that? No. There's a mini mart in my area that's not mm. doing it, and I can remember to carry a small bag all the time. Yes. And they just check the stuff and throw it on the counter, you have to put it in your bag or you carry it in your hand. But you know, the place to, to talk about that is with your public health, because if if they are mixing it with food and other things that could pr probably cause a problem or another, it, yeah, then you have a, a risk to the public health, because there are a shop serving the public, you can safely call in the public health people to say, make some recommendations to visit them and see what they're doing. Because if they're giving it to you like that at the counter, God knows how they're storing things. Um, yesterday afternoon, about maybe about one o'clock, I saw some white, finally see some white guy with the monkey pox. <laughs> on YouTube. Oh you, oh, you went looking. Yeah. <laughs> you went looking for it. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, you, the, you asked and, 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 and we answered. The other thing, one last thing now, I yes. think Pastor Dan begs with me now, because I hit out for him now. All right. What you? Yes. I think you need to change the name of the, of the morning program, you know. Based on, based on Wednesdays? No, man. Oh, they, what do you want it to be called? Really just hard talk. No, sir. You find the talk hard? Huh? You find that the talk is hard? Well, then when you discuss almost everything, you know, and, and this is more like a religious program to me, as is far it? as I can hear. You find it religious? Yeah. All right, I need to teach you some more. Stay tuned. All right, then. Okay, my brother. Have a great day. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Hello, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Neville. Yeah, I want to hear up all the listeners on the Valley of Callers. Miss Minnet, yes, Pastor, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. listeners, today the um, CXC children gone out to exams this morning. Yeah. They have an exam this morning named EDPM, Electronic Document Management. And uh, you, you, when you hear the Minister announced that as of next year, all children, all babies that born in our hospital would have an electronic document. It tells you that the digital revolution is well advanced. Did you know that the NIPS is about 95% complete? Yeah, man. The NIPS. That said it, that indicated that. But it should be 100%. You know that the NIDS, they get a lot of money to educate the Jamaican people about the NIDS. And the first time they run those ads, the court, when, when the PNP challenged the NIDS bill and they took it to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court tear up all the clauses in the NIDS bill and throw it in the rubbish pan and tell them it's a breach of not only the Constitution but the human rights of the Jamaican people. Did you know that? Um, Neville, you have, you, have, you have spoken about NIDS quite a few times on this program. I, I would need to know, are you for it or against it? Listen me carefully now. Yes. You see, any system that they set up without educating the people, I'm not for it until they publish what is known as the FinSAC report. 
And let me tell you why I said that. If you should, if you should get an idea of some of the things that they speak in cabinet, you see? Like I do. Well, you're the fly on the wall. What? 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 You're the fly on the wall. I'm bigger than a fly on the wall, man. Okay. I am the rubbish man in the room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen this carefully now. Listen this carefully now. You see, um, the need yes. is a national identification system, which is, which is good to register everybody. But when you want to manipulate people through paper money, fiat currency, and you want to take away their money from them without them knowing exactly what you're doing with the money and why you need so much money, then you know that you can't trust these people. Pastor, let me ask you a question. Is it good to fear to die? No. Okay, well, you live since, since COVID. Mm -hmm. What they realize is that most human beings have become more selfish. They call a lot mm -hmm. of them now narcissists. Narcissistic. Yeah, narcissistic. Mm -hmm. They love money. Most of them love money more than people. True. Yes. They are afraid to die, and they are wearing the mask. Did you know that if you live in a system where the average man is thinking about me, myself, and I, love money more than people, bad mind, I'm afraid for death, and wearing a mask, because the mask mandate will be coming back before the end of the month. Did you know that's a dangerous city to live in? Well, because the truth is, and in principle, when we become self-centered, only thinking about us, it's going to create more problems because that's not how we were created. Do you know what the word ego means? Ego, E-G-O. Mm -hmm. Tell us now. Ego. Like when you hear the Prime Minister talk about it with an ego. <laughs> Argument done. <laughs> A ego that you know, you know what ego means? I'm at the center of everything. It means easing God out. Oh, interesting. Ego means easing God out. Did you know that? Did you know that um, members of your cabinet, who when they sit in cabinet meeting, they don't like uh, um, people having sex without marriage in the country. You know that? Well, you said that's one minister said, but. But never. Not one minister, not one minister, collectively, collective ministers, because they, they sign a collective deal in cabinet, you know. Okay. When one decision is made, it is collective, you know that? Yeah, that's how they did. But, all right, never. Yesterday you called us and you said you're going to give us some principles. I'm, I'm waiting. I look, I let me tell you two more principles. Yeah, man. I'm going to do a survey today in five supermarkets in Portmore. Yes. We were going to test for some basic item. What are the difference in prices in this in the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I lock those figures on my computer mm -hmm. in order to work out my monthly budget for next month and in the summer. Right. Okay. Because I know I will have to improve on my pantry. Okay. You know I have a pantry in my house. Your pantry where you put food in, right? Yeah. If you come in my house now. I have at least three weeks supply of food in my house at any given time. Okay. Yeah, I have about, when you come in my bathroom, there are about two dozen soap in my bathroom and about a dozen toothpaste. Are they naked? <laughs> so, hey, another thing, Pastor, very serious thing now, from Negril Point to Moran Point. All the businesses, all the corner shops, all the bars, all the... All the retail outlets from Negril Point to Moran Point, from the Galena Point to, to Portland Point. You must start giving your workers a pay slip. Okay. Let me say to you, Pastor. You must start giving the workers a pay slip. So that is. Yeah, you, they must produce a pay slip for all the workers. You know why? We enter in the hurricane season. And people are going to need loans, loans, L-O-A-N-S, to borrow short-term money in order to buy food and medicine. Because, Pastor, Pastor, 
Hello? I'm listening, I'm listening. You know that the NIF fund, the International Health Fund, yes. it is in bank, it is bank you know? The National Health Fund that is financed by, I was saying, they don't have pre-invention gambling money, the cash part money, you know, the them bank Okay. Oh, that's... that's I'm telling you now, listen, listen. There is a study that is being done by some university professors, one name, Damian, Damian. Okay. I don't remember his name. What is Damian's name up there? King, King. King. Eh? King. Okay. Damian King. Damian King doing a study now for the Ministry of Health. In addition to him, big salary where he might get from a university, you know. The Ministry of Health are paying one bigger salary because put some bread for Jamaica and poor people. For them to start to pay the fee in the country. So talk to me about that in the cabinet. Okay. The only Jamaican people are going to listen to that now. They must really listen to that now. They tell you the formula we can use and listen to that. All right. Hold the formula for me, please. We have seen how to take a break. It's really going to pass everyone. Yes, yes. Okay. Best yeah. down. 100. Yeah. 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 Winters auto of them, they have over 35 years of experience and then there's no problem and get back your transition when you them service excellent and efficient. Trust me, man. Can you hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to boss. Just tell them I'm me sending you. Uh, your big sir. Yeah, man. Mr. Boss. Ah, <sighs> what a relief. What should taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look after their customers. They'll come when you go and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Vision printers for all your printing needs, specialized colors, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 87506. That's 968706. And visit us at 4th East Bloomer Road, Park Road. Vision printers for it's bad, but nothing big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man, so, what, yeah, yeah. yeah, you give us... Yeah, you give us the point. So, the point you're making now is the buying test. That's the next point. The next point I'm making now is that the Jamaican people must resist these things that they're coming with. Because they must have the Constitution from 1962 about using the Jamaican tax people to pay uh, the credit as first. Yes. And then all other things come after. It's time to turn that much upside down. Okay. And you will jump in and touch people's fat money and take your deal with the first and then pay the credit. Okay. And when you look at all of these, 60% of the Jamaican government creditors are Jamaican. And when you look at the amount of money that their businesses are making, their price earning ratio is up way above the inflation rate. Okay. So therefore, what they're doing to touch money is only by this contest. Okay. And a lot of these politicians that are so-called leading the country are shaping these people because they're going to change their children in the future against the Jamaican people. Okay. And the last point I want to make you know, that in addition to this, retail outlets and the gambling house that not even work as a PFA, they need to start issuing receipts. So, the customers that buy from the airbase, so that the children who are doing CFC and who are looking forward to a future in 2050, they need them gum. Them can get work money before the government and send them to come with the assets from, from our people and who live in Portmore because they can't pay the market. You know? All these factories are the money you now. Because okay. the last thing I want to do is if a shipment among that going to be called the Victoria of Pilsu, got the ship of money one coming from England and one coming from Germany. Boss, we don't want to feed on our economy, see? You know, you know, the strategy that artificial intelligence tell them in Israel. The AI that the government is also working with coming to Israel, you know that? Mm-hmm. See, but you need to know what the AI tells them to change the currency. Okay. So when you got this my money, come all the money to open them out. I hide under them back, under the some legal activity. Those money is given all the time. Okay. It's a picture, I'm sure. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that was sometimes, um, I've never last spoken in a, you have to make some notes and try and unpack it because I always like when the listeners can get value of okay. the commentaries. I know you were following closely the suggestion that he was making for um, how persons can secure themselves during these times. So this is coming, and we know that the national identification system is important not just to give you a firm identity in country. You know, so when you travel, you have that, and that you can use to say who you are, because undoubtedly it's going to be tied into some sort of system. Well, being um, digital currency, you know, and the, yeah. the beauty and the parliament. Oh, what's the amendment? The friends, what's going to change the this year? Okay. It's right. important for us that we understand what has happened um, with the DOJ. Yeah. Um, so, national identity um, is a necessary thing. Mm-hmm. If you don't have passport, not everybody has passport. Passport is good when you travel, but you also need to have something within the country that says who you are. And when you interact with other citizens or with other agencies of the government, they know who you are. So, a national ID is not to be fair. 
how it is used becomes another matter altogether. Yeah, that's yeah. Amazing, you know? and one of the things that came out of the, the legal challenge to the first part of it was that it cannot be tied in any way to the distribution or the administration of resources. It cannot be. It cannot be. It, 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 can, it still cannot be. So we're um, stop that. Because the, the, well, these things are not the, these things are not stopped in the back of it. If you experience, they are they are activated in the breach. Mm -hmm. Meaning, it is when it goes wrong that you get to bring compensation and and corrective action to the mix. It, and so when it says when when the principle is that it cannot be, it means if you experience have experience which shows you that it has been misused, then you have a cause of action. So when you say how we gonna how we gonna what was your question? How we going to stop that? Yeah, because you, it, yeah. it becomes every time. The question, is not, the question is not stopping it. The question is dealing with it if it happens. Okay. So you go in expecting that it will it will run in a normal way. But if you see something that looks like a deviation, of course you jump all over it. Which is why I was saying that my involvement in getting this constitutional action for the courts in coming up in June. It's because I saw a breach. Okay. And if you see every time you know the about it, the breach becomes the norm after a certain period of time. Which is what has happened with us. We are now numb to some of the yeah, because um, the rights have been taken on the pandemic for a lot of things. Yeah. And nobody really challenged it. And now it's it become easier normal. For the yeah. next time. Then, right. You know, it's yeah. mandatory, mandatory vaccination is something in this country right now. Because there's no person who have gone to a business place and they're maximum. There's a call line. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the morning connection. But that's good not morning. Right. Good morning. People wonder how they all do. Uh, well, 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 how are you today? Thank God I'm alive. Wonderful. You know, when I went to me yesterday, I went to the top office yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there was a whole barrage of people. Mm -hmm. And I said, Good morning, wonderful first people. And two persons answered that. But they said, They don't consider themselves said, Wonderful. That's what you're saying? Yes. I said to them, Listen to me, you are wonderful. They made them. And they stared in awe. In awe? Are they not saying they see the awe for us? They're trying to admit to us. I mean, does it matter to you if persons answer or not? Um. I like to see my black people with a different look. Instead of stress and, you know, some people just pop them up. Mm. So I do it all the time. And your, your hope is that a cheerful greeting will do the trick? It will help them. Mm. Okay. Understanding who they are. Yeah, I, I, I have a suspicion that you're greeting them in that way does a lot more for you than it does for them. So keep doing uh, I hope it. In my, in my being, it's not for me really. It's okay. really working for them. Because okay. um, we have to change the system mm. of life that we have. So now we're talking. And if you're working for them, did you seek out what it is that would actually satisfy them or be of assistance to them? Um, when, you, when you talk a little with some of them, mm -hmm. you realize that the stress of like holds them down. So what I do is try to explain to them that the beauty of being able to breathe is a wonder from God. Mm -hmm. And after a while, the, 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 some of them in the trench. Okay. Um, I was walking on the road one morning. My husband and myself, because he thinks I just wish that I'm talking to people. And I... I heard a lady say, Good morning, beautiful lady, with the loudest voice. Mm -hmm. My husband said, Oh, so it's not you alone. I don't know one of you. He said, It's not you alone. Yeah. That's good. What That's I would like you to do for me today mm -hmm. is explain to Jamaica what the government means to the World Health Organization to sign off. Because I'm getting a mixed feeling and, and I'm not sure, maybe I'm not understanding what do they intend to sign off. Is it to, Put Jamaica under pressure that if they say vaccine, then we say no, we don't want it. They are putting our children and all those persons to take it. Um, this well, is something I'd like to explain to us. Well, huh? it, it would never be that. Um, well, it's 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 let me know. Let us know. Okay, all right. Well, it's not for me alone. We've, I've Did not you get the song I sent? Oh, you sent it? By what means? I sent it on WhatsApp. To whom? I put your name, not a naked. Oh, you sent it to one of the station WhatsApp, one of the numbers, one of the accounts. Yeah. I'd, have, I'd have to check to see. It hasn't been delivered to us as yet, so I'm not sure. Um, okay. All right. See, I'm not, I'm not as, as, as great as my husband. Yeah. My husband is blind, and he, he, he's a, a, a computer man, mm -hmm. and he's a, he, he does the phone more than me. And, you know, I'm actually taking a little time. And sometimes I forget. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not able to send it to you. Okay, we will check for it. But I want to answer your question uh, just to what an extent concerning treaties and how they function in the domestic um, field. Uh, when, when our government goes and participates in international um, con conventions, which are mm, arrangements on the, on the international stage between countries saying, we will promote this or seek to do this or that or whatever, um, it, is, it is an understanding that they arrive at outside of the country, which needs to be given legal effect within the country for it to, be, for it to um, have binding effect or in order for you and I to be immediately affected by it. Hold for words, but all I'm saying is that the laws which govern and bind us are the ones which are passed in the House of Parliament in Jamaica. And those laws, properly done, should come out of a consensus between our elected officials to whom we have the delegated authority to represent us by coming to um, inform the decisions on what should happen. So when government sign off on a treaty in Geneva or whatever country the meetings are held, that is a signal to their partners, their international partners, that as a matter of policy, we agree that this is what should happen. Sometimes those conventions require the government to give some statement on when they intend to put it into 
legal effect six months um and then the government needs to come back to its parliament to its people and begin the process of creating the laws locally that will bind us in that direction who of itself has no jurisdiction in jamaica but we get affected by who and other um global or, or international organizations when there are things we want from the the banks and the, the institutions that they control and those things come with conditions. So if you notice Jamaica was getting gifts of vaccines that came under various arrangements that had to be respected or you not get no more. Um, and when it when it comes to that level, the people of Jamaica are going to have to decide, are you in or out? Now we have we got all kinds of vaccine gifts and still our vaccine or vaccination level is um what was it? They just crested six hundred thousand. Um, yeah. So people should never forget that no matter how daunting or how um, terrifying these international arrangements may seem or how they sound, when it comes down to it and you have to take a decision in your country, you, ha you take your own decision. And if you are, have a government leader who is pushing a world position or a policy that the people don't find favor with, mobilize on the ground and move that leader. Okay. We always Finally. have that. Yes. I'm, I'm learning, okay? Mm -hmm. Finally, um, the cockpit country and the, 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 um, mining. the um, mining license. I know in Spain, years ago, we, the, 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 the mine there and leave a, 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 a well of acid that killed down the woodland mm -hmm. that was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had eight rivers under there, I was told. Now, if eight rivers under there, and this acid up there, what happened to the rivers? And in the, in the white, the cockpit country now, um, we are. I am one of those who stand up and said, no more mm -hmm. that mining should take place in Jamaica. We don't want anybody digging our dirt. It's the same like we dig it up. Yes. I'm and plant what we want to plant and, and, and fertile our land so we want and our water our people who have suffered years with the dust and these things should stop. Yes. And we're those who believe that our government must listen to us when we talk. I agree. And don't fool the people. Right? Any longer. And and when they won't listen, we take, we make a change. I'm yes. with you on that. Thank you very much. I love you though. Mm -hmm. you we love, you, love, you, love you, you stand up and shine because you're the light of the world. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to the morning connection. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? Blessings. Good morning. You want to go on, man? Interested in the morning so far? Yeah. You need to listen to me. Um, talk about um, just while I'm on. Which one? Mining? Double H.O.? No. Which one? Oh, oh, yes. okay, okay. Yes, yes. Turning I did, I did it last week, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was the response? And the man, like, like the man was away. Uh, I will come from it. That's your thing. I still do it anyway. I still do it. I tell people good morning. I smile. I look back at you like you're something wrong with me. Yeah, but you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the, the cheerful people too. But I choose I choose my moments when I, I give off good chair. If you walk into a room where the good chair is going to be like casting your pearls before swines, and when it's just they will, they will turn around and gore you. No. It's a don't cast your pearls before swines. It's a don't cast your pearls before it is. And so the reason I was putting her trust of when to be so cheerful is that sometimes what persons need is not um what I call like false cheer. It is a word of support. I said, boy, I don't look stressed, but here man, it can be otherwise. It's sometimes it's a moment for you to, to, to really respond to what people are feeling in the moment and, and take it from there. And then you will close that one with a smile. But it always hurts that. I'm doing my bed to fill the farm thing. Yeah. And when I fill the farm quickly and think before even my farm, you know, mm -hmm. I don't manage to dance. You didn't raise it. You didn't raise it. You didn't say No, no, let me for that. Yeah. Because I show you. Yeah. 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 Ah, but you did appreciate it because he asked you. Yeah, he appreciated it. But you know, like, it's like people, let me tell you something. You know, like people, you know, what people have read on the family, you know, mm. in this country, you know, 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 what comes to me is that that lady don't buy a picture, you know, with them, they don't lie, with mm -hmm. you know, no, they skills, yeah. And when you look, when, when the, the opposition, I would say, about it, or the, the investigator, the lady get 13 million, the yeah. financial people get 13 million dollars, and nobody, I know nobody else, 13 million dollars, that's what they're doing. No, pl that's what plenty of people said plenty of things, and they were shot down by saying, one, you can't behind the confidentiality of the arrangement, two, as if it would have cost more if it had gone to court, so it's a good settlement. Plenty of people said things, and it was just well, outside. Well, 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 it's true that some so, things cost more when you go to court. Well, look, well, look, what's going on in this country? Things, one, which are, which are, and people just like it, and, um, because we're not saying the things. We're not doing anything. We're not changing. Yeah. You know, so nothing is changing. You know, and we don't know. You can see, we think that just come, and that take time to come, you know. We just, just watch the soldier, and watch what go on all the police, and you see take time to come, and that take time to come. And it's just a trap block. You know, yeah. but you know, this thing. There's a lot of people, you know, for you, sir, taking the bank out, 
Yeah, the quality of the call breaking down, I'm not hearing you so clearly. Now I was saying that, even the missing, there's yeah. no creepy calling. Yeah, it just, well, just creep up. And some people now can use the car, they now can use the bank, they now can use the, you understand? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they start to scump on the life, like that. Yeah, even and, like, yeah, that is why, you know, yeah, that is why um, Neville says, education, persons need to be trained on how to use these things. Because inevitably, we do need a better Neville comprehensive, you know. we need a better and a comprehensive um, identification system in place. What persons need to be educated on it? I'm I'm sorry, sorry. Never, um, yes. I plan to come um, up by the Leon Club tomorrow. Yeah. All right, we'll I, don't know if, I don't know if I never because I want to meet never. All right, well, take that loud and, and see if you pass by. All right, yeah, then yeah. we we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's it, yeah. Good. All right. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Connection. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I'm part of the morning, too. Good morning, sir. It's been a minute, it's been a It's been a minute. All right. I accept okay. good morning because I already know my name. Alright, <laughs> okay. forgive me if I say the wrong thing. You're forgiven, I don't know if you said the wrong thing, I only heard the good morning. Alright, alright. So what I want to say in, to my, my little contribution to the program this morning, mm-hmm. is like what, what I have just have said, you have just spoken about the, the lips. Yes. Yes. How can people go on with something that they don't train about? How can you, how can you go on with it? Well, you know, that is an indictment of our okay. government. But at this stage, with the thing being 90-odd person, um, complete, mm-hmm. persons don't know enough about it. I myself don't know enough about it. I don't expect it to be difficult. It must be quite simple if it is to be used um, by all the citizens. And exactly. I am sure, yeah, I'm, I, I don't expect it to be challenging, quite honestly. I think okay. what, yeah, it, should, it would not be. You get your driver's license to keep it in your, in your, your wallet or your purse, mm-hmm. and you know yeah. that there are yeah. times when you have to present it. Um, yeah. And I don't expect this to be more difficult than that also. When you go in for registration or to receive it, I'm sure each individual will be taken through a, a basic, you know, understanding mm-hmm. of what is involved. Um, yes, yes. What, 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 my next point, you know, yes. um, I, I want to use this moment to, 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 to ask you to, and part to do something for us, give me a con, yes. with JPS. Yes. JPS, yes. they are so cruel, I never see a, a call in, in, in the world, so we can't call like JPS. What would you like doing to some do? trust your people. Let me tell you this, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I have my home here, and... Nothing at all whatsoever when they talk about, when you go to the complaint about the, the high charge, the building of the election. Nothing wrong with people who own what they introduce you to electrician. The amplitude where people use in the house, they, some people know, some don't know. Most people in Jamaica always use a wanted voltage in all their offenses. Maybe like welding plant and, and, and washing machine. No, not washing machine, welding plant and, and air condition. Maybe you're too fat to work. I, I had my, my, Kilowatt hours was like 168 kilowatt per month. And all of a sudden, this one, if you send a bill, um, my kilowatt hour raised up to 434 kilowatt. Mm-hmm. They did it to me once already, and I go to them and I complain. And they say, oh, it's a mistake. And they had a bill, I think, but they had this trade in them. If you send a million dollars on bill, telling you that you must pay it because it's your policy. And they know in the next month, you will see what and what and what they will do. Call all right, right. that's not right. Call, yeah. call so we, I think tomorrow we'll have some other front people. And what she's been doing over the period of time is explaining to us ways that you can manage your electricity usage better. So, uh, yeah, yes, but he's been through that. What I want to do for you is I want to take your information and I'm going to give it to this very high level um, JPS lady who has been um, doing some work with us, getting information out to customers. Um, and I would like to see them solve the problem that you are having. Yes. All right. Okay, so, so. I'm, don't don't hang up. I'm going to ask the engineer to just take a name and your number. And mm-hmm. what you can explain to me what is the problem. The problem is that your 168 consumption, yes. double that to is, 400 and something, just exactly. about when you when the government subsidy would pay your entire bill. Yes. You know, yes. how can it be? Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. How can it be? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to, uh, yes. I'm going to put your, your, your situation as one that can prove. They can use it to prove either the strength or not of their system. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, my brother. Yes. Stay on the line, please. Oh. The engineer oh, okay. will take number. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, it, it, I think it's kind of brilliant. Yes. Oh, it's time for break. Yes. Oh, my goodness. On the nose, 9 o'clock. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Ah, what a relief. 
or better choice in all your letters of brand A, authorized 3 MT and better brand names B, better service including free and wide delivery C, all major credit and debit cards accepted It's ABC, electrical sales, shop number 8, Hollywood Park, Plus, Kingston, 10 Open Monday to Friday, 8am to 5pm, Saturday, 8am to 4pm Make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC Call 754 or fax 754 ABC, electrical sales, for better job What should a taxi service with you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town They are clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service And promise to always look after the customers They are coming you go and take you where you want to go on time we are something special on the road. Deliveries for all your green needs. Special Wesley Collins. Buyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 987506. That's 987506. Let's visit us at 30 Goons Road. That's our room. Fish on the bridges. Your best choice in your ticket. Good morning and welcome back. Welcome, caller. Good morning. Welcome to the morning connection. Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I'm going to bring up the past by the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, we're going to find an educator for you. Oh, sir. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, you don't mention the past, my friend. They're using the internet. They're using the internet. Okay, okay. Let's take up the COVID-19 now. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to have an appointment. We're going to have easy restriction to do so much. Yeah. They're going to have room for restrictions? No, they're going to have easy restriction too early. Oh. In, ter in terms of economic things, you understand that and it's yeah, I, I think it's I think it's one of those things that you can't judge it um the way you would a, a, a pot on the fire. You can turn yeah. it off too early because everybody knows that bananas actually cooking look a certain way or taste a certain way. Um, we don't have the experience to say this is too early or too late. I think we have to judge based on what happens within our own orders and make the decision, stand by the decision, take the correct measures, give the support that is needed so we don't spend too much time either castigating the government or even applauding ourselves. Um, it, it's just one of those things that we work with and deal with whatever, however it shows up. So I wouldn't have a conversation about whether the government moves too early or too late. I would look at what is happening now and take decisions to, to the best of my ability based on what is necessary for good public health and for economic stability. What do you think? Yeah, that, yes, good, good. And the Senate, I think from the reimposition teams in it, you know. Yes. I think the government, the Minister Sankar was talking about moral pressure, you Yes. In a, in a pandemic when things are looked well, the, there, there are some there are some factors that would influence him saying that one is the she, she, the she, oh education okay so there would be some factors that could, could support that, that that approach the main one being the the what you call it the strain of the virus at this time is far less virulent so the fear that the hospitals would be overwhelmed and that the, the citizens and the disruption to, to economic activities and so on by reason of people being sick and not being able to come to work and so on and so forth it, it, I think persons are viewing it I certainly view it in a different way and and, and your corner um. A lot of input in terms of their decision making um, in regards to we, we are two years on, are there things that have been proven to work that help people to heal in terms of medications that can be used? Uh, so it, it's not an easy decision to make, but we just have to weigh and balance out everything because um, a lot of people are saying the lockdown has led to more damage than the good that it should have in terms of that. So the government has to balance the interest of the diversity the overall um, framework of what is happening in terms of everything. So it's not a lockdown or a lockdown, it is what is in the best interest when you put everything together and put everything on the table. Use the sand, using all the other considerations. Yes, yeah, so you are, you are okay. I've been saying, this is the same thing. Yeah. Only different terminology. Yeah. And, and the Mr. IMT now. That Mr. Sable, yeah? Yes. That the chair took section of our third boy. I'm telling you. Oh, it was, yeah. It was a little for a poor institute at the Kata Africa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you want that piece of work, that's in quite a chin, I'm going to pick up the hospital. And you know, emergency and calm down, I'm going to pick up the hospital. How do they manage Mr. Good reminders. Yeah, right. I, I, I thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the morning connection. Good okay. morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. And, and sister Minute and to the engineer. Yeah. Good morning. So much thing to say right now, so little time. You need to speak, um, brother. All right, to the caller that, that mentioned about electricity, electricity. Mm -hmm. Um, here we go. Jamaica run off a fifth cycle, a 110 and a 120, not a 240. So, um, I don't know. Yes, you mentioned 240. That's pretty standard. In break, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the 240, I use some first step up. Okay, well, I think what he said, but he's on the 110. Yeah, that's I mean, what he said. Yeah, 110, yeah, 110. Right. 110. Well, I mean, the regular, the regular also Residential would use 110. Okay. And if you're, 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 you're like him, if you're choking uh, uh, your condition, you know, you, you use a 220, because, you know, and, and, and the community is inverted also. It's in the sea again. I don't think nobody else can buy a 220 you can mm -hmm. no, 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 invert. You know, yeah, invert. You have invert a fridge, yeah. you have invert um, your condition, washing machine. So, you know, you know, but, but you have, you have, you have a medical thing. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to me, good. Public service, I'm going to tell you the truth, but you know that every time they're not break, like when a power outage, you know, money themselves. 
<laughs> because they said that people no, say no, they're no, using no, it. No, yeah, yeah, no, remember. No, 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 no. Any time you hear a poor, and you, you get a, a two minute, three minutes, you have no much money, them save them, them, you know, but them smart, you know, some like a week. Hope you know, they save it. Explain how they save it when there's okay. a. All right, it's all right. It's the one we are talking about. We will have a date because um, uh, yeah. we want advantage of your offer to okay. talk um, some of the things. Um, the DPT, yes. yes. You know, uh, I would like to talk about her, like, no. What brought up that feeling? Out. What happened recently that brought up that feeling? Recent, oh, okay, it's the built up. Come on, come on, sit me yeah. in a minute. You don't say that this woman is a, is a, is a, is a what do you call it? A, a sweetheart person. Hmm? <laughs> you look at the, look at the, look at the, 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 that certain people are contested. It would have rammed down the throat and your rights would have been taken away. Okay. Now people, people want people, because I said, what about, what about the people on the read? So them want, and them listen to, and you have, you have a radio station, you know, with a radio station, you have some people panic. You see, when them, when them really flabbergast and bath people, you, you can't get the right word there. So, me at telling you go on. You had not that individual come out and do them though. <laughs> that they will have getting the nibs and the money they feed are the them sorry give money feed so is a must. Yeah, yeah. It it a M U S E must that is that one will be dashing out. Them start have the outlet them already. Them start name out the outlet them we can go. Go 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 deal with your with with your nibs. Did you know? Yeah, it's, it's been administered. I think that RDB. That's all right. That's right. So it's a green fly green is there and just black fly and it out. Let me tell you, we have some dark days ahead. Dark days ahead. We hear man that talk about not the same thing. You just wait. We stand up and play and dance. I will never interfere with the dance, yeah? But we call, when JPS come on, let me just explain. Yes, and yeah. we're still on that 60 cycle, that 60 cycle. Let me get somebody to explain the 60 cycle, that 10 cycle more. Okay. That, 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 that they're bringing in these, the, 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 if me and you work in any, any store right now, we are selling appliances. You, 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 if you find two, fifth cycle there. <laughs> So you know, we did speak about it um, last Thursday. We had a brief mention of it, and what um, the JP representative was saying is that the cause of it, of course, is a legacy network that they took over from the British had it. So it is to the British spec specification, and the cost of doing the transition is so much that they don't expect the regulator will permit them to do it and make the recovery. What do you think? I hear the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, is there any truth to that, right? Is there any truth to that? Um, John, what kind of food? Let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you have a friend of a regulated body with name again? Who you are? Who you are? What's your favorite OER, man? Forget what you are. We are coming to them, not us. Because if you get up here tomorrow and OER will tell you for Kate, Kate and then, yes, and then query. Yes, and then query, right. That's not supposed to work. You can rise in a darkness, you know. Oh, that's good. You, you, the way you think you query, because it, it, it's like you know, you're, not, you're not satisfied with it. And then you're, you're queried. I mean, even even JPS themselves will tell you, pay the sum that you're accustomed to paying, because I've been in that position with them, where you get a bill to 150,000 and it used to be 100. You pay the 100 and they deal with 50, or you no, commit to some. The OUR tells you, yeah, no. 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 The OUR tells